First, we align the shaker to the printer. Measure each side to make sure they're equal spacing and roughly in the middle. Next, position the media sensor. Note that it's just magnetic base and you can move it wherever. I recommend putting it roughly in the middle of the slot. Now we will remove the drawers at the bottom of the shaker for an easier setup. For easier access from the other side, remove the panel. Now an easy way to set the feed sensor. Lift the sensor up, and once up to the top, let it down by just a slight hair of your hand. Then hit the set parameter up button on your menu. This is easier with two people. Then to do the bottom, pull the sensor down and then lift it up just a slight bit. Hit the set parameter button as well. You'll find the parameter adjustments in the menus. When setting the parameters, make sure to hold down the button for several seconds until you hear a beep or see the setting change. To set the roll sensor, do the same process. Once again, having two people will make this much easier. One to do the menu, one to do the physical part. To adjust the edging of the film, you need to adjust these metal panels down where the powder will fall. You'll do this before the powder's in there, but note, if it's too big of a gap, the powder falls right through. If you pull them out further, and too close to the material, you'll hinder its movement. So you need the metal panels on both sides of the film, just slightly touching them with enough room for it to move. When loading the take up, make sure the gears are touching. It should slot in smoothly. A little trick we like to do is to put a piece of tape on the end of the take up just so you can make sure you can see it moving easier. On the left of the screen, you'll see recommended settings for your film. This is when we're using the Coveme film that ITNH recommends. Now remember, your parameter settings will differ from this screen, but the left side settings such as dusting strength, shaking strength, and feed speed are what we recommend. When using the machine, the heater will not come on on its own, so make sure to hit the heat and preheat button to get things going. Once you're ready to start production, hit the manual button, switching it to auto. This will enable the dusting, shaking, and feed features, as well as the roll sensor, making it ready to actually run. Don't forget to disable your heat and preheat when you're done using them. Upkeep and cleaning of the machine is very important. You can see here that mine has very little dust on it, but I recommend start by dusting off any excess powder or glue you have on the outside of the machine. Then going inside to make sure you remove anything from the take up that's coming through here, as the film will feed through and any excess glue or oils will hinder it. Now let's open up the shaker. Start by loosening the thumb screw lifting the air filtration system a little bit and pulling out. This will get us access to the assorted vents and filters. You can also now open the oven. You cannot do this unless the air filtration system has already been opened as well. When cleaning, make sure to check all around your belt and then check the lamps in the oven. From here, let's remove the panel from the air scrubber. This will give us access to the filters as well as the waste area. Once we have the panel off, we can take a look at the filters by loosening the thumb screws and pulling them out.
this during your setup, you'll have to install the waste valve. At the bottom of the waste area, there will be a hole that you can insert this into. I'm just hand screwing it in the video, but you'll probably want to take a wrench to it. The waste valve is for getting rid of excess oils that come from the curing and heating of the glue and material. When you check the waste area, make sure the line is unobstructed, and then after using the valve, clean up the excess just in case. Now we'll want to go through and clean the assorted vents and seals from the side of the air filtration system that lead into the actual oven of the shaker. You have a couple at the bottom and one at the top. Now remember when closing the shaker to put the oven lid down first before closing the air filtration system. Hopefully this video helps with your installation and upkeep of your shaker. For more questions, reach out to us at ITNH.com.